you shared a photo with me of this product and yeah. the innovation behind it and the multifunctionality mm -hmm. behind it. Six months, I mean, I don't even know how it's long. It's been a ago. while. It's been a long time. And while. you, they don't stop until it's perfect. Yep. Which I have learned. You don't stop till it's perfect <laughs> and it's perfect. So we're finally ready yeah. to share it and I'm so excited. What is the product yeah. that we're sharing today? So the product is the centerpiece of your outdoor lounge. And, uh, you know, while we've been on this live stream, you've been looking at it. It is the multifunctional fire table. And why is it multifunctional? Yeah, it's multifunctional because it serves three purposes. Uh, the first is it acts as a flat surface, a coffee table. Yes. The so there second, it is. That's Beautiful it, that's coffee it. table. Yep. And you can see that gorgeous, like, concrete, dark gray yeah, textured. Cast concrete. So gorgeous. That's right. The second is that, uh, you know, we call it the multifunctional fire table because it is a fire table. And you can use oh, it um, so as a fire table. Look at that. Oh. It, it just transforms a space, doesn't it? It, it really... It I does, mean, it yeah. It really does. That is absolutely beautiful. Okay, but that's not it. There's a third, and this is maybe no. the coolest thing I've ever heard. Yes. So, you know, a lot of what we do is we always... We don't want to design something that's just more of the same stuff. And a lot of it is thinking about, like, what is it that we would want? And oftentimes, and, and or, Orly, you've said it, like, I have a fire table, and when I want to use it as a coffee table, I've cut out a plywood thing and put it on top to use yeah. it as a coffee table. Yeah. Last one we've done is it is a, uh, a cooking griddle top. So you can actually cook with it now. You guys look at this photo. It's so, like an outdoor uh, grill, like hibachi station. It's the <laughs> coolest thing ever. This is, I mean, this is really just, uh, this is just too cool for words, I swear. I can't wait to get into how all of this actually works. I'd yeah. love it if we can kind of walk through the process yeah, yeah, a yeah, little bit here. That. So Curtis and Orly, would you mind helping me? Let's uh, get this stuff off. And while we're removing some of this, I just want to let you guys know that this is, uh, it's not available right now. It's coming very, 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 very soon. So what we thought we would do for all of you watching as a thank you for being here on this live stream with us is we would give you a text, a phone number to text. You're going to text hot stuff because that's fun. You're going to text hot stuff to this phone number and you'll get alerts and updates as soon as it's available. So you'll be the first in line and you'll get one as soon as they come in. Okay. Yeah, so here it is, flat surface. And the idea is that, uh, Curtis, when you are uh, trying to have some quiet from your kids in the house, yeah. you're having a call, you can spread out your laptop and stuff and uh, have it as your outdoor office. That's amazing. So that's uh, kind of the first function that yes. we thought of. So step one. Step one, coffee table. Use it as all the ways that you would use a coffee table. You want to hand that to me? Yeah, function two. Uh, here you. you're seeing it with the open fire pit. And uh, one of the things we have are uh, these ceramic spheres. Oh, and they're so beautiful. And uh, I know what you saw was we we're using them as decorative objects, but um, they go in your fire table. And these are insanely lightweight. Like there's no way to explain, it's, it's, there's no way to explain what they feel like. They're super, super lightweight. Let's get these in here. And they're pretty enough that we literally used them in a bowl as decor. Like they were just sitting on the coffee table as decor before we put them in. So, ooh, thank you. Can you put that one in the corner there? Yep. Cool. Here. And now what do these do? Are they just, are they, is it just that they're so cool looking? Uh, so they've sort of two functions. One, I want them to look cool. And I right. think these look more interesting than your uh, like recycled glass or volcanic yes. stone. Yes. Um, so yes, they're decorative, but more importantly, oftentimes when you see um, a fire table, it comes with a, a glass windshield. And uh, it just is a square that goes around it. And it's something we could have done, but I actually didn't like it. It felt like it kind of disconnected you from uh, it the absolutely element does. of fire. And uh, so that windshield, uh, the glass windshield helps with when the wind blows. And this actually functions the same way, where when the gas, when it's lit, the gas is actually, it's helping direct the, the, the flame up. And so we actually have a really cool uh, sort of photo for this because here, here is the setup, right? This is what it looks like, how it gorgeous <laughs> when it's a regular fire pit. Now, look at the thermal footage of this. So when, when you guys were actually trying to do these tests, you were putting sort of wind and breezes and seeing does the flame move from side to side and it stays going straight up. It stays going vertical. And that's the thing that's so cool because my sister has a really cool fire pit and her flame gets really high. And anytime, like, we literally, when we're there, we just can't put anything on the surrounding space because inevitably there'll be the lightest breeze and those flames kick over to one side. They'll burn a phone, they'll crack a glass. <laughs> so the fact that something this beautiful keeps it open, yeah. but also keeps the flame up is so, so cool. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, but, the, but and then that's, we're still only at two. There's a whole we're third thing. Yeah, so. Then the third one, as I mentioned, is a cooking, uh, a cooking device. So we have um, 
I'll put these stands on. There's uh, the stand. We have created um, a custom griddle top. Um, I'll show you if you can see like it is you can see it, it's it's um, it is branded outer. It's so cool. Right Look there. at that. So cool. Oh, it's amazing. And that thing so is, is that cast iron. It is, it's cast iron and yeah. you can see it is uh, a flat top on one end and then a griddle on other. And just... Oh my God. Do you know that it's literally not until right now that I realized each piece was reversible. I just thought one side was griddle and one side. No. Of course it's not. <laughs> Why? I'm underestimating your genius. So I will do today. We'll set it up both ways where we have a flat top and a, and a, a, so a cool. grate. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, Curtis, we're going to have you turn it on. And I know normally this would be a very scary thing. Right. Because like, normally like singed eyebrows and such, right? Yeah. So let me, but, I'll explain. Like uh, when we were working on the design of this, um, we are always thinking about the Seinfeld moments. If you ever hear me talk about it, it's like those pain points when you're working with products. Mm. We came up with seven that uh, we identified seven and we, uh, what? a few of them. Why don't we turn it on while you're talking so it can sure. Sure. it up. Would you yeah, do yeah. that? You got it. Yeah. So right, right. one of the things that we realized was oftentimes when you light a grill, or uh, like a like anything, um, uh, you'll you'll have the clicking sound, and all of a sudden the, the gas will, will ignite and it'll explode. Yes. And then the joke that we talk about here at Outer is uh, we uh, and as we're getting to the holiday, we talk about the film Elf with Will Ferrell, <laughs> yes. and and <laughs> his job, if you remember, in the movie, was to be the QA engineer that was testing the Jack in the Boxes. How awful of a job would that be? Every two seconds, he's like, ah! Yeah, you get, you get scared. And we don't like that feeling. And I also yeah. talk about it in terms of those Pillsbury biscuit tubes that when you open it, they pop. And you just don't know when that happens. And we wanted to do something where we designed something um, where it has a much more gentle lighting sequence. Mm. That's and, so uh, cool. Yeah, so, so that's how it works. So these are, like you said, cast iron. So we're going to we're gonna let them heat up as you we'll let cast up. iron do. And then we're actually going to do some live cooking so you can see how this works, which is great.